what you're about to find out because we've got Richie and Lenny from Tumbleweed. Welcome to the show, guys. That's your song Sundial we just saw there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, that recently broke into the top 50. Does this sort of indicate you guys have, uh, as breaking it into mainstream success now? I don't know. I, I thought it was bizarre. I think maybe our music's still a little bit too, um, too alternative for the mainstream charts. It's very hard for us to make any ground in there. We do very well independently. Mm. But the way the whole music scene is, it's kind of difficult to break the mainstream chart. We're not, I don't, we're not really trying to that desperately anyway. Yeah, plus it's got to go a bit higher to be a success, I reckon, anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's a success for us just putting it out, you know. And the success for us is having it number one on the alternative charts. So how does it feel when you get a number one on the alternative charts? Oh, it's great. It's yeah. great because in the alternative charts, you know, you're competing against, you know, bands like Beast of Bourbon and Sonic really Hughes great and stuff. Bands. So to see your, your name on the one on that list, it's, it's great. That's for the mainstream charts, I'd say. Is it true you guys have the most hair of any band in the country? <laughs> probably combined. Yeah, probably. Right? <laughs> yeah. If you joined it all together. Probably. But, like, heaps, heaps of people have got long hair, you know? It's the a 90s. thing of the 90s. Yeah? It's a thing for the 90s. It I don't is. know if everyone agrees, but anyway. So I should grow my hair long, you reckon? How should I put it, you um, you just, what you do is you just don't do nothing for about four years and see what happens. <laughs> Let it grow. So now, you guys were in the band called the Proton Energy Pills when you were younger. How did you mature from that into Tumbleweed? Was that uh, we just, um, <laughs> we just we got older and, <laughs> you know, but, but, but. learned how to play better. And, uh, and you noticed that Richie could sing. Is this true? Uh, Richie always wanted to be the big rock star. Yeah, so like, you know, oh yeah. <laughs> we, we just needed a singer at the time and like, it was easier to get a drummer than a singer, so like I decided to change from drums to singing. You guys have been overseas as well, how was that? It was great. Fantastic. Where'd you go? I went to England, uh, we did a um, line of tours with Mud Honey, which was great, played with Lemonheads, that was great. So what's in the future, what's coming up for you guys? Uh, we just tour the, um, the East Coast. Uh, we generally like to get to Melbourne, say once a month, to Brisbane once a month. We'll just be touring all over Australia, yeah. like we're going out to Perth and Tasmania and you know, even New Zealand soon, Maybe. so like, yeah. We don't know. How about a new album too? Oh, we got to write it first. We got w one song done. We got 15 to go. Yeah. And we're kind of like just taking our time and let them all yeah, come we're out. very lazy naturally. at the moment. Okay, when it comes to writing the perfect tumbleweed song, what, what, what does it take? What do you need in there? Well, when we, all, all the songs were written to date, were all just written like, I just come into practice with a riff, blah, 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 everyone would put their own bit in and we'd write a song. But these days it's like, we come in with a riff, write it, and three weeks later we toss it out the window, so it's kind of... No, but we just get in... The process it's getting weird. No, but we get in the practice room and we start by, like, just mucking around and just, mm -hmm. like, playing whatever we like, and sometimes we come out with something really good. Well, Sundial certainly is one of those songs, and we're going to go check it out now. Thanks a lot, Tumbleweed. Thank you. All right, thank you. Let's check it out.